Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami and in today's video I'm going to show you step by step how to create a beautiful SharePoint internet landing page that is both practical and easy to use. To do all that I'll be using Origami web parts that are already installed in my Office 365 environment. If you don't have Origami, make sure to check out the link in the video description below to see how you can get them. All right, let's get started. I want this homepage to look bright and give everyone easy access to documents, recent news, events, and KPIs. Let's also make sure this page has a staff directory so employees can easily find their colleagues. And we'll even add a little bit of a social corner for everyone to be able to share their own micro announcements, welcomes, and shout outs. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this page from scratch. First, I'll add this personalized banner with a link to recent company announcements. For that, I'll use Origami News Carousel with links. This web part recognizes who's logged in and you can make it show a person's name so the announcement looks more personal. It also has a button here to select the URL to read more details. Now let's make this banner a bit smaller, hide the dark tint and links at the bottom. Now I have a bit more space for other features I want to add here. I still want to show quick links at the bottom of the banner, but I want them to look bigger. So let's add this tiles web part with links to popular resources like help desk and so on. With this web part, I can pick icons right here and change the color of the buttons to fit my company colors. In this case, I want my buttons to be different shades of dark blue. I also want to give employees access to frequently used documents and policies from a single spot so they don't have to scavenger for them. For that, I'll create a SharePoint library where I can either keep all of those documents or link to them and show them in this intuitive finder web part. For that, let's click settings and go to site contents. Now let's click new and add a document library for HR forms. This library will have documents for payroll, benefits, onboarding, and so on. I can even group my documents by category. So I'll go ahead and add a folder for each of the main categories and upload files into those categories. Once that's done, let's go back to my page and tell our finder to look for our new library. That's it. Now we see the same categories as the document library we created earlier. You can even change the color of the folders to make them match your branding, like this dark blue in my case. Also, you can make this app take less space. Looks pretty good to me. Perfect. Next, I'll add a section for news and events. I'll use standard SharePoint news web part for my news. I'll turn off the title and limit the number of posts to three to make things a bit tidy. Let's also disable the author and the day of publishing. If you want to arrange the order of the news, you can drag and drop them like I'm doing here. So they don't need to be the latest news only. You can promote the news that you want if they are the most relevant or important. This is really coming along. All right. Now let's add a color-coded calendar with links to company events. Let me show you how you can add a new event. So here is the first eight training I want to add. So I'll just click here, enter all my details and mark this event as meeting, or it could be any other category. Now this event can be seen on our homepage and employees can click on it to see more details or RSVP. You can even set a unique color for each category. Let me show you how I did it here. And now I just click save and we have a calendar with branded colors. Now let's show how our company is keeping up with its KPIs. For that, 
I'll use the Origami KPI app that can be updated right from the page. I'll add my KPIs, numbers, and the colors I want them to have. This will keep employees in the loop with how the company is doing and keep everyone aligned with high-level goals. Next, let's add a people directory so everyone can easily find people and their contact information, experts by skills, managers, and so on. I'll add origami people directory here. This directory automatically pulls profiles from Active Directory and filters staff by location or department. So I don't really have to do anything else. Right on. And finally, want to have a spot for micro announcements, welcomes, and recognitions, where everyone can share their thoughts and chat with their colleagues. You can set up moderation on all of these posts, but in my case, I'll keep things simple. Social Corner web part makes it easy to do this. I can easily add a post, attach an image if necessary. You can also hide different parts of the post to make it better fit your needs. If you wanted to moderate or even delete a post, you can do that too. Just click settings and go to site contents. From there, I find my page library and a folder with all my social posts. This is the post I added a few minutes ago. Let's go ahead and delete it. Now, if I want to delete the comment under my post, I can select the post and delete it from there. These are the same comments you can see on my bulletin board here. You can even set up more advanced moderation in archiving options, but that's a story for another video. Okay, now let's publish this page. And there you have it, a practical and easy to use SharePoint homepage for a modern company intranet.